This is on, this is off. Yeah. This is on. bit messy yeah so I think there was an oil pressure line here that got broken off and we didn't plug that so <laughs> the oil shot out to the workshop but we had oil pressure this week <laughs> yeah it sounded, it sounded like it was running on all was totally seized up and the old engine was a Perkins 6.354M and this is a, a Perkins 6.354 from a, a Master Ferguson 300 series combine harvester. Uh, I picked this up the, the other day and now my plan is to transplant all the marine parts from Omala so the marine gearbox, uh, heat exchangers, uh, bell housing, all kinds of stuff uh, onto this engine and then this engine will become a marine engine and this one will then hopefully be able to drive for Mala. Uh, so that's going to be quite exciting. The thing is I don't know much about engines. So uh, it's, it's going to be a good learning process. I hope you enjoyed the video.
this little brass thingy that I've been making on the lathe is to shorten down some bolts that I have. Because these bolts I've uh, kind of messed up while I've been taking out the, the shock shock absorber or the vibration damper from the flywheel. And the threads in here are okay. I chased them and they're fine. But uh, this, this steel plate has been uh, twisted a little bit while I took the bolts out. So this plate has been ruining the threads all the way up. Uh, and I can't find these bolts anywhere to have a hole in them for locking wire. I'm not sure if I'm gonna drill that hole. But I had another set of bolts that hold down the flywheel from the new engine that I'm not gonna reuse. So I made this little uh, this little piece here so I can put these longer bolts in the lathe. And then uh, I can turn them down to the right size. And I still need to chamfer the edges. But then I have a replacement set for those. And then, uh, yeah. They should be good to mount the flywheel and the, the shock absorber, so that's nice. But it had like this oil and there was still water in it and Bob Glycol for luckily it was a plasma cutter or for what? Oh that's what it was oxy 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 yeah yeah. Well, I was gonna say fire X. It's <laughs> <laughs> the jet landing term.
it was uh, checking the alignment of the flywheel housing bore. Uh, let's see on the picture here. So I guess that's somewhat the concentricity of the, of the new bell housing. Um, it says total indicator reader of 0.20 millimeters total. When I've been measuring it, 12 o'clock, of course, this was my start point. It was zero at nine. It was about zero. I should have gone the other way around, but nine was zero. Six, it was 0 0.15. At three o'clock, it was 0 0.18. So I call that good enough. I guess this manual is also meant when an engine is maybe built new. Maybe then the tolerances are a bit high. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to call this good. Now, next up, I will try to measure uh, what they were talking about here is the actual to see how parallel the the flange from the bell housing is to the block or at least to the crankshaft face and then with the flywheel. So uh, I will do that and show you again the results. So I just checked the alignment of the flywheel housing face. Face, uh, they say it should be within 0 0.20 millimeters total indicator reading. Uh, when I started 12 o'clock, 0, 9 o'clock, 0.06, 6 o'clock, 0.05, 3 o'clock, 0.08. Positive. So uh, total indicator reading is 0 0.08 from 0. I call it again good enough. And now I will try to measure, how do they call that? Fitting flywheel and checking alignment. Yeah, so we'll see how parallel the flywheel runs after I've torqued it down. So I'm gonna bolt it on, torque it down, and then run it as well. Uh, so yes. I'm looking up the torque settings for the flywheel bolts, flywheel set screws, Screw size is half inch. Okay, so 108 newton meters. What did I put it here again? I think I set this to 100 and 108. Yes. Now that thing, focus you. Yeah, neck right down. That's as tight as that was gonna get. Another tip here, how do you know if you can reuse a bolt? Well, first of all, look at it, smell it. If it smells like shit and looks like shit, it's probably shit. But if you can run a nut on it, that means the threads aren't, aren't stretched out. The bolt's probably gonna be okay unless it's a real high integrity application. But as you can see with this one, the nut won't thread back on because the bolt is hoopa Well, there's a dirty little trick for you. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. So, this is a measurement from the flywheel. But I just took from the 12 o'clock at zero, then it goes to 0 0.05, 0 0.27, and 0 0.04. And in the manual, it says uh, the runout on the flywheel phase should be within 0 0.025 millimeters total indicator reading per inch of flywheel radius from the crankshaft axis to the clock gauge plunger. And I can't really figure out what that means. So I'm going to write out on the forum and see what guys reply to that and share my measurements. Maybe they say it's good enough. Yeah. So I just uh, talked to a friend who knows a lot about boats and boat engines and I kind of asked about this flywheel alignment 
And he rebuilt the Volvo for his tugboat, and he, I don't think he even bothered checking the alignment. Uh, so he said it should be fine. Uh, I posted my uh, my measurements in in a, in a forum on Facebook, it's a Perkins Vintage Machine Diesels or something like that. And I'm gonna wait for some replies from from people over there to see if it's actually good enough. Because I don't know what I should change. All the bolts are torqued down to the right uh, torque, 108 newton meters. Uh, before I lock all the, the spring washers, or I call it the bend over the washers to fixate the bolts, I want to know for sure that this is good enough. Because I get, like I said, I get 0 0.27 millimeter, millimeters over one full rotation. That's the max run out. And that's on painted, that's on paint uh, steel. Um, yeah. So before I do anything else, I'm going to wait for somebody to reply. And then when that is done, uh, when this is hopefully okay, I can mount the vibration damper, which I have here, that goes on there. And then I can put on the marine gearbox and the cooling parts and the oil pan. Uh, but I think this video is already getting pretty long, so I'm going to stop it here and uh, have a weekend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you, uh, you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I don't know much. I don't know much about engines, and this is the first time I'm actually really working with a diesel. Uh, so if you see me doing stuff in the videos that is really like not okay or doing things wrong, please let me know in the comments or write me. I'm I'm open for a lot of critique and feedback because uh, yeah, it's the first time I'm doing this. So see you in the next video.